Okay. No, we're on the same show, but uh, I promise you I've changed it. Who is Brett Cooper talking about? A trend that's going on. Um, apparently those influencers, Gen Zers, that are recording people that they don't know, complete strangers. Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So a couple of weeks ago, I covered yet another story of a gym influencer who was recording people without their consent, not just by accident, like they happened to be in the background of one of her lifting videos, but with the express intent of ridiculing said person in the video. And if you guys follow Joey Swole, you know I love him, he's fantastic. You know that people at gyms, specifically girls who wear skimpy outfits and want attention, do this all the time with men in the background of their videos who they want to label as creepy or leering to then get extra attention. And now this behavior has made its way outside of the gym. And I'm sure nobody is surprised, but it is just as obnoxious. Before we dive into this story though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss one of our episodes. And I'm sure you know this by now, but we are officially on Spotify. We are climbing in the charts. We are currently number two just behind Joe Rogan. I don't know if we could top Joe Rogan. I think that's literally impossible. But if you wanna help us try, go follow the show, go rate it, hit that notification bell over there on Spotify as well. It's a great way to watch the show while you're on your commute if you can't be on your computer or on YouTube. All right, so I started seeing this video go around X yesterday for very, very good reason, because this streamer's behavior is completely reprehensible. So the context is, this girl was at a self-checkout register, I think she was at Whole Foods, I'm pretty sure, and she was filming herself, checking out her groceries. I don't know why one would film themselves checking out their groceries, but whatever. And there was an older man behind her. And when she went back and edited the video and was trying to get ready to post it, she decided to make the entire video about him and everything that he did wrong. Just watch. So she's saying look counter, how many times this old man has looked at her. Also this streamer, she streams her entire day. So she just brings her camera, films everything and puts it on Twitch. God damn. God forbid he just looked again. Like what is she doing? Is she just standing there extra long? That's what you guys are, just a couple of meat bags. Like, is she staying there for an even more extended period of time just to get more of his reactions? I don't know. Like, it's it's weird. Anyway, Malcolm Flex first posted this, and he said he is literally waiting on people to hurry up so that he can check out with his food. Holding up a checkout line to make a TikTok should be a criminal offense. We really need to just crack down on all of this because as we're about to talk about it, as you guys are about to see, it has truly gotten out of hand. But back to the yeah. point, back to this man. He literally did nothing wrong. Nothing. Like, have you ever been in a self-checkout line at Whole Foods? Any self-checkout line? Like, it is chaotic and it is confusing. Cashiers are running around trying to help people because you accidentally put eight apples in instead of six. You can't tell which registers are open because half the time it's only like three of them and then there's a bunch of ones that you can't log on to. You're simultaneously watching all of them to know when somebody's finished. Like, you are scanning the area. That is what you do. That is what we all do on a daily basis. I promise you that is what that old man was doing. He was not leering at you. you know, I've been to Whole Foods a few times, but I, I, I haven't really shopped much at Whole Foods. Uh, glad to know that I won't be going there. And if he was paying you any special attention... Probably the most common question that I'm asked as a professor at Hillsdale is, what happened to my country? You know, when they poll Americans, they find that a vast majority don't think the world is going to be a better place for their own children. <laughs> It is because he's an older man who is not used to people streaming and filming themselves in the self-checkout line because wow Actually for a lot of people that's very weird and that's not normal Maybe other people in your world are numb to that But I guarantee he's not and it is not illegal or wrong for his eyes to scan over you and your general direction and notice what you are doing Especially if it is out of the ordinary that is just something that humans do. We notice things that are not normal. Notice me, senpai. Notice me. Like, oh my God, get a grip. Somebody commented and said, this is what's going on in his mind. Is she still paying? Looks like she's just standing there. I wonder if she's on drugs. Because why else would you bring a camera into Whole Foods to film yourselves in the self-checkout line? Somebody else said, she has a camera out recording him while he waits in line and he's the bad guy. SMH, I hope she is banned from that store. Another guy said, main character syndrome is getting out of hand. Very true. And if you don't know what he means by that, there's this whole thing on social media where people are like, I'm the main character of my life. Like everything revolves around me. I'm the main character. And obviously we are all the main characters in our own lives. That's just how life works. But that does not mean that we are the main characters 
in everybody else's lives and that they have to bend to our whims. That is absurd. Somebody else commented and said, it's 2024. Of course this woman makes a video suggesting that she doesn't like the attention and then posts the video to social media in order to get attention. Literally doesn't make sense whatsoever. Somebody else said, look at me, look at me. Now don't look at me, don't look at me, look at me, look at me. The irony of her caring who looks at her based on the way they look is utterly breathtaking. Also, I don't know this for a fact, but you can go look at her Twitch. It seems like she posts a lot of things for attention, specifically for the male gaze. You can go look and you can figure that out yourself. Basically what I'm saying is that it doesn't seem like she really just hates all attention. And we can bring all of this back to the female influencers at the gym that Joey Swole is always talking about who make videos just like this. You know, they go to the gym, a public, public place in the skimpiest outfits. They wear little bandeaus. They wear those tiny little biker shorts with the butt all scrunched up where literally everything is hanging out. And I'm sorry, but people are going to look at that. I'm a straight married woman. I'm going to look at that because it is obviously- yeah, It's a good to know that she's married because I knew she was for a while she was engaged and then she didn't even reveal her to be husband until later on. But it's nice to know that she's engaged. What, 24, 25 years of age, which is rather early, but that's good. Um, By the way, uh, yeah, I've noticed these women in these clothes and Usually when I go to the gym, it's always late at night. I think the earliest I would go would be like 7 or 8, but I try to go around midnight or afterwards. But the 24-hour fitness that I usually go to is not going to be open for 24 hours, actually. So, And I'm behind on two months of paying for my membership, so I'm either going to pay it or I'm not. But uh, I don't really have use for it, so I might just cancel the membership altogether. A cry for attention and is absurd and I'm worried about the fact that your ass cheek is hanging out of your shorts. Like maybe it's just me, but I genuinely do not know how you can comfortably go out in public like that. Like I would literally want to die, which thankfully I use Policy Genius and got good life insurance. So Alex will be fine if I ever get embarrassed so badly that I just die anyway. A lot <laughs> Now, a lot of life is unpredictable, but a good life insurance plan gives your family a financial safety net to protect against some of the unknowns, like crippling embarrassment. Policy Genius is the country's leading online insurance marketplace, and it's safe. Again, that is policy of embarrassment, but you know what? You never know. And it's all so ironic because these feminist women will screech all the time yes. about not wanting to be seen as sexual objects. You know, don't look at me that way. And then they go out in public Dress like that. Like, give us all a break. You are not wearing that because it is comfortable. I guarantee your t That is like girls tell women would tell me not to look at them and I would just respond, don't dress like that. I mean, if you dress with your cleavage showing, you want people to see it. And that's with anything Almost falling out as you were doing a bench press does not make your workout better. But you know what it does? it gets you attention. So either confidently soak up the attention that you so obviously want and don't shame normal people for noticing that you're doing something out of the ordinary or just wear some damn normal clothing and put your cameras away. It really isn't that complicated. You don't have to dress like a pilgrim. Just literally be normal. That is what we are asking. Anyway, rant over, back to the point. Just in general, we have gotten way too comfortable filming people out in public for our own selfish gain. People who have not posted themselves online, who are not inserting themselves into any kind of online discourse, people who are just going about their daily lives off of the internet. And every day this becomes more and more of a topical discussion. Just last month, Vox released this report titled, Is it ever okay to film strangers in public? And other outlets have posted similar pleas to the public to stop this non-consensual voyeurism, which is the term for all of this now. This is from The Guardian, why it's time to stop filming strangers in public for social media thrills. Another one, please don't film me in 2023. Unsuspecting people can get pulled into TikTok content without even knowing it. Can we leave that behind in 2022? And while not all of this is done with the express intent to embarrass or ridicule other people, it usually is very self-centered and done to bolster the main character's ego, like this, in my opinion. <laughs> Bruh. 
Like, at least she's not zooming in on them and going creep. Like, she obviously wants the attention, which is better than a lot of people. But that is so self-centered. Like, oh, I'm going to put on a pretty dress. Let's go see how everybody thinks I'm so gorgeous. I guarantee some of those people were not looking at you or talking about you. They just happened to be looking down or in your general direction and were holding a conversation. And also, I doubt they wanted to be featured in your video with millions upon millions of views. Somebody commented and said, narcissism in a video. Yes. And what is even more narcissistic is the idea that other people just going about their daily lives Lives is getting in the way of your video and your content and the idea that they are somehow in the wrong, like this chick. So this is the end result when she finally got the video she wanted. <laughs> Honestly, I'm impressed with the confidence because if I have to go out and take photos anywhere, even if it's with like one of our professional photographers and I have to go out and take promo pics for something, I am covered in embarrassment. I'm like, oh my God, don't look at me. I'm so sorry. I'm going to move out of the way. Oh, I just don't want to, you know, whatever. Like I remember I did some photos for my merch with a mirror and they wanted like paparazzi style photos. And so we were walking across the street in 12 South, which is a neighborhood in Nashville. Oh my God. I was so uncomfortable. I felt so bad. I was like, I just can't like wait until everybody's gone. How? how do you get to this point? I genuinely do not understand where you feel like you are so important that people just trying to get onto the tube is somehow infringing upon your filming rights. Get a grip. Like, I, <laughs> I have no words. Somebody commented and said, where do you want them to walk through? The tracks? Probably. Another person said, how dare the public use the public transportation in public? But still, those videos aren't even the worst examples of all of this. And it really is serious considering that so much of this content is actually done at the expense of the person who is just trying to live their life. Like, at least in that video, you couldn't see who the people are. But this Target employee wasn't as lucky. So a couple of months ago, I was at work doing my job, you know, do, giving out excellent customer service per me, and, and this girl walks up, and she's, t I tell me she's a speaker, but she, the way she's talking is very, like, it's different. She's being very inappropriate with me, she's talking like this, and it just makes me uncomfortable, but I'm like, let me just try to do my job, you know, whatever. And then as I'm trying to help her with the speaker, I don't know if you're hearing the thing, but I was telling her we could look at reviews online, she bends down to point at something, and I, her bottom of her dress is cut, and I just see her entire f Keep in mind, side note, I am gay. I am gay, wrong tree in the wrong neighborhood. Months later, around Christmas, guy comes to my job, you look familiar. And I'm thinking, oh, it's probably because I worked at two other locations in three years. No, she put this sh on. It is absurd. I mean, not only was he filmed without his consent, but it was sexual in nature and in promotion of her only, it was put on her only. Like that is reputation ruining. And he didn't. Why the fuck are we blocking out the word only, only fans? Like, you have to do that now? What? Nothing to insert himself into that narrative whatsoever. Just like the man at Whole Foods or any of the men at gyms just trying to get on with their workouts without having to see an Instagram thought shake their tip in a video. It is beyond time to bring back privacy and decency and just basic self-respect. That is the bare minimum that we should be doing as a society. Well, guys, I hope you liked that video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and on TikTok. See you guys next time. Bye. Everyone's favorite Scottish nanny is headed to a stage near you. Miss anyway, um, yeah, so my thoughts on it. Pardon me while I post this. I think that, uh, obviously, making sure I'm not muted, even though I, I only record people without their consent if they harass me. I don't do it out of, uh, you know, I don't do it just to get views and likes. I mean, I do do it to get views and likes if they harass me, but. That's my that's my only exception. That's the only time I'm ever gonna do it. If you're not harassing me in any type of way, then I won't do it. And I just do it because, you know, you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, and you know I'm not bothering you. You you're bothering me. I've done it on buses before. You know, part of my eye it's still recovering from eye surgery. You know, 
uh, and I gotta take these drops. But Brooke Cooper, she's one of the uh, one of the honest people that will tell you what's going on, and uh, it's very disturbing to know that you can't go into a grocery store or even a public park without being filmed. It means I have to be extra careful and watch where I'm going. That's that's more work for me, you know? And I, I don't you know, there's no laws to address this. You can't really get arrested. I think if I ever actually did this, I would get arrested. You know, because I tend to have bad luck. You know, I've I've lost several jobs this year. I just recently quit my job today as a dishwasher at Gap because the chef who was originally like the kindest person there was yelling at me today about about something I apparently did. I was accused once again by a manager, once again, a female manager at that, once again. It's a, it's a coring theme that's going on in my life when it comes to employment. And I bet it was a, it was a, one of the black managers. It was a black manager, yeah. Uh, you know, I didn't get into trouble per se, but when he, the way he said it, to me was just outright disrespectful, and I was a temp. I'm, I'm, I was I, I work for a temp agency technically, so you know I don't have to take that job, that that particular assignment as they call it. Therefore, I'm not, and I'm no longer going to be taking any assignments because this is the second time that a client has said anything. But anyway, enough about me. Um, Obviously, I'm the main character or protagonist of my video, but really what I want to say is, is that, uh, yeah, I met, I my Brett Cooper for posting about this because I noticed it, not in gems per se, but just in general life of people just recording, you know, and I remember there was a particular moment in Hollywood that... An individual was a, a, a Spanish woman was recording a homeless person, and I said something to her about it, and she didn't like it, and then she started to record me, and they're just these were tourists, obviously. But I'm like, why would you record somebody without their permission? Can't you see he's homeless? He, he, you don't need to make fun of him, and it's just disrespectful, you know, that you come to California and. You want to record people. I guess because it may be from another country. They didn't, they didn't really know. How. How. Uh, how. How homelessness walks in the state. But. Yeah. It's disturbing to see that you can't be. In. Anywhere. Nowadays. Without somebody recording you. You know. And just. Trying to make it about them, like they're the main character of, of their little short film. And, and to go around the whole day recording yourself, I, I I can't even do that. My phone doesn't have enough storage space. And then you got to upload it to the cloud, which takes more data, takes more time. Uh, then, on top of that... Yeah, you can't. It's a, it's a lot. It's, it's it's that doesn't sound like a lot, but to do that every day, it's it's it could be a lot. And you know, well, honestly, I'm put out, I've put out, I've went out of anything to say. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. If you choose to. And please check out more of Brett Cooper's content. She's very knowledgeable of a lot of things. You know. Um, especially regards to like the whole gym scene. Of 
people recording themselves in the gym and how Joey Swole also check out Joey Swole, yeah. Is it's it's actually quite funny what he says, you know, mind your own business. You know, it's very stone about that. 